Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. And today, we're being joined by Jen Duplessis, author of Launch, How to Take Your Business to New Heights. Jen, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here with you. We are thrilled to have you. Are you ready to begin? Absolutely. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? Yeah, um, they're writing their book right now. Yeah, when I, you know, I, I actually had never set out to be an author, but everyone had said to me, you know, if you're an author, you'll get more speaking engagements, right? So I thought, okay, let it be written, let it be done, <laughs> right? And, uh, you know, I didn't plan a pro- a proper, properly or appropriately. So I, my, my suggestion is, you know, as you're writing this is, you know, there's a couple of things. One is make sure you have the end in mind, you know, not the end of the book, but what is the why behind why you're writing the book so that you can see what that is and then pull forward as you're writing. And the other thing, and I know I'm not supposed to have two, but I'm going to have two here, is making sure that you can use the book in a multitude of uh, uh, mediums. So maybe make a um, an assessment out of your book, or you know, chop it up and and do little small videos. You know, where you have people go to that section of the book, or you do a workbook, right? And uh, so I think that 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 would be the biggest thing is just really think forward as to why you're doing this as you're writing it. Can it be repurposed, you know, over and over? And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Um, uh, I would just say writing. Writing is tough, you know, and I and I am an expert on prioritizing and time management. So I would say, you know, cut cut. Um, Make sure that you're carving out enough time to just do little parts of it. You know, if you have a thought, get it get it in writing or do an audio, you know, for yourself. That's the hardest part about writing. So I would say that, you know, if you can really just fine-tune your time so that you can sit down and think through your book instead of just scribbling it down, you know. Because uh, it can take, take on a life of its own, as you probably know. <laughs> uh, so really some thought process in it, compartmentalizing what you're doing um, so that you can get through it more swiftly. Uh, there's so many people I know that have been writing books for 15 years. It's just it's just crazy, you know. Um, but that's what I would say to do is really be thought-provoking in your process as you're, as you're writing your book. Well, let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. Yeah, well, for me, because I'm a podcaster, right? So a lot of my book was originally my podcast. The first few episodes, you know, I don't know how many episodes, it was sort of repurposing that podcast because I grew, you know, during that time and I had new thoughts, I had new strategies and things. Um, so, you know, in today's world, from marketing, uh, first thing is build your tribe now. Don't wait to finish the book and then tell everybody about it. Get the excitement up for your book. Build your tribe now because then they'll be excited when it launches and you can take yourself to number one. And, and fortunately, I was able to do that. I was able to go to number one right away because um, that's one of the biggest things that everybody's looking for, you know, is that. But the second thing is just, you know, get yourself on podcast interviews. That's a great way to market um, the anticipation of your book as well. And it's evergreen. Once it's published in a podcast, once your information is published in a podcast, it's evergreen. It's there forever. So that would be a great strategy. And it helps you also think of new ideas. Because when people ask you questions, you're like, oh, that's a new idea for a book. Or I wish I had put that in my book. Maybe I can tuck it in right now, or maybe I can put a video to it. And that's one of the things that we're going to be doing with mine is sort of repurposing it and making a new cover. And we're going to put a QR code on it so that I can say thank you so much for, you know, just kind of putting that person and that personality to the book. Thank you so much for buying my book. I'm so excited 
you know, for you. And I really can't wait to hear about, about how, um, you know, how you've enjoyed it, what you've learned from it. And I think that anything that we can do in a digital world right now um, to help get it out there evergreen is the best marketing you can do. When I love the fact that you mentioned too about turning podcast episodes into a book, I actually did that um, with my 16th yeah. book, which is on virtual summits. And so for our build up to our 500 episode, episodes 490 to 499, I basically touched on one talking point on each of those shows. And we took that and turned that into the base of the book. And it's just amazing what you can do with the content you're creating, whether that's a video, whether that's podcasts, whether that's summits. There's just so many pieces that you can use to turn that into a book. Absolutely. And that's why, you know, even the thought of a book is great to get on podcasts, you know, and start doing that. And you and I were just talking in the green room, you know, that I just started another podcast. But uh, my intent was uh, to write a book first and then do the podcast. But then I said, you know what, I think I'm going to do the podcast and then there will be my content. It'll be much easier to to publish and it, and I can put my thoughts around it and how I've grown since it. So I love that. Love that strategy. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Uh, my favorite book is The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Uh, he's one of my mentors. I've spoken on stage with him several times, uh, you know, and because I'm all about the priority management, that's exactly what this book is about. But the one the one most poignant thing that I remember about the book is um, he does an illustration about desire and your why and getting things done and we all and i use this in my books uh, it has nothing to do with his book but stop talking take action get results right stop talking about doing the book take some action and get the book out there just get it out there and uh this is the one thing that i loved in the book is he um he does an illustration you know if you were standing you know uh, 20 floors up or 100 floors up on a building and someone said you have to walk this this 10 inch wide wood plank that's 100 stories up to get over to the other side, you know, to another building um, to reach your dreams. Most people wouldn't do that because it's not it's not passionate enough. It doesn't drive them enough. But if we said, hey, your child is over there and that building's on fire, you wouldn't think twice. You would hop on that that little board and you would figure out a way to get over there to succeed. And so if your passion isn't strong enough, you will find excuses why you can't get your book done. So figure out your why. And I use that in everything I do. You know, is, is this a strong enough why um, in everything that I do so that I can accelerate uh, the results that I'm trying to get in virtually everything I do? And for our final question, what is your favorite quote and why? <laughs> yeah, so my favorite quote is by um, the ma master. I love him, Les Brown. I have the opportunity to be on his coat or his speaking um, faculty right now, and I get to travel with him. And he is, you know, he's just a master of words. But his his uh, one of his quotes that he says that I love is, "If you're casual about your life, your life will become a casualty. If you're casual about your business, your business will become a casualty. So you can place anything in there." If you're casual about writing this book, the book could become a casualty. So we can't be casual about everything. So dig in, get it done, get the results that you're looking for. So it's just always inspiring me. Don't be casual about anything I do. Well, Jen, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? Well, I want to say thank you so much for having me. I sure appreciate it. Um, the best way is to uh, go to jenduplessis.com. That is the best way to get in touch with me. You can reach out to me there. You can see more about our podcasts and uh, book me for speaking if you're interested in doing that as well. Well, Jen, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey. Ahead. Thank well, thank you so much. Same to you. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how to get your book published with a proven system that works, Grab a free copy of my book at getpublishedpodcast.com.